Hey everybody, welcome back to Why Not RV. On this week's episode, we're gonna go ahead and do a massive battery upgrade to the new Montana. Remember, if you wanna learn more and make less mistakes while RVing, be sure to hit that subscribe button, drop a like and a comment down below. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I know what some of you guys are immediately thinking. If you've been watching my video and been watching the Montana build, you're thinking, wait, Chris, you already have a massive battery bank. What are you talking about? Well, here's what I'm talking about. The batteries I'm using right now are 138 amp hour batteries and they're old, okay? They have a low cycle count. Um, they're only a couple hundred cycles in, but they are old. They're like eight to 10 years old. So right now I'm getting about 80 to 90% out of those batteries. Now, again, those are 138 amp hour and 48 volt configurations and I have two sets in parallel. So that means I have 276 amp hours of lithium batteries down there right now. These new batteries are 310 amp hours, again, times two. So that's 620 amp hours total in my 48 volt configuration, the way I'm, the way I'm setting these up. So these, as a regular 12 volt battery, sit at 12 volts, 310 amp hours. Whereas my other one was 12 volts, 138 amp hour, or 138 amp hours. So again, I had eight before, I'm doing the same exact eight as I had before, and it's gonna be the same footprint, but they're just a little bit taller. So I'm using the same amount of space, it's the same amount of weight. I think actually the new batteries are technically a little bit lighter because the technology has been getting better over the years. Um, and I'm over doubling my usable storage. Right, like I said, I've been only getting like 80 to 90% out of my old batteries. So realistically, I've been pulling like 210 to 240 amp hours uh, at most before it starts to drop off. And that's where I have the generator kick on. So now with these, I'm gonna be getting closer to 600 amp hours of usable energy. So way more than twice, almost triple my usable energy. Only time will tell. And of course I will report back uh, hopefully at the end of this video with the update of real-time use of the new batteries but the new batteries just came in today so let's go take a look at them so here are the eight sets there's four cells in each one because these are raw lithium cells um, they come from eel battery uh, which ship right out of california this is an american distributor that ships of course made in china lithium batteries um, i believe the actual brand on these batteries is cat L. Uh, I will put a link in the description below to where I bought them on the EEL battery website. Um, it will be an affiliate link. So if you do click that, I appreciate it. Um, but uh, let's go and unbox these and see how they look. Now I will say before I even get into these, these did get shipped uh, through FedEx and I watched my FedEx delivery driver. He basically just dropped these things on my front door. I was pretty upset about it, but I wasn't at home to be able to help him out. And he was carrying two boxes at a time. He should not have done that. He should have just taken eight trips and done one box at a time, but I understand. But let's see how well these things are packed in here. They look pretty good. A, a lot of thick, thick cardboard going on in here. All these are packed the same. Um, I think I think we'll be all right. The, you know, there's basically a little piece of corrugated cardboard in between each one, and then a much thicker piece of cardboard around the edge. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the rest, make sure I have all my parts, and we'll report back here in a minute. If you've been watching my channel a while, you know that a lot of times I just throw paperwork to the side, and, and I did. I took this piece of paper, I just threw it off to the side, um, but it's a test report. They actually test their cells, right? when when they get them and you know this is handwritten stuff they actually write the capacity that was pulled out of them which as you can see says 316.8 316.2 316.6 317.2 and then the testing date and the voltage um, which is awesome that they give you this they give you what you should be setting your uh, you know settings to on discharge and temperature and specifications and all sorts of information which is really really cool that they do that um, so I'm assuming that's in every single box but again, like I said, these are three, they're rated, they're called 310 amp hours, but they're more closer to 317 by the test sheets. As suspected, a couple of the cells definitely got damaged in shipping. So, you know, let me show you. Let's see, uh, we got a nice, nice big old dent in that one. 
Uh, it's, ba it's basically that type of thing in five of the 32 cells. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and reach out to the seller right now and see if they will send me some new ones uh, ASAP um, because I was gonna be doing this project tomorrow, but that is uh, no longer gonna happen. So I'm gonna reach out to the seller and see how quickly they get back to me and how good their customer service is. Fingers crossed. So it's been about a week um, since I last left you guys off here. I had those five damaged cells. Uh, I reached out to the company, a um, couple emails back and forth, and they sent me um, new cells. And let me show you, because it looks like they changed their packaging. I don't know if they did this just because I had damaged ones or if they just changed the packaging in general, but this is what they sent me. Instead of the last one, which was all cardboard they actually have this in a very nice very thick super super dense foam and then inside again very very dense foam all around them so much better packaging uh in this set than the previous ones so i'm gonna go ahead and get these unboxed and set up i already kind of have all my batteries laid out in you know that's gonna be a 48 volt pack and this will be a 48 volt pack those are my five damaged cells but we're going to get these ready and we're going to get them in the rv in the next couple days before i continue with the actual cells i want to take a quick moment to show you guys the other extremely large portion of this which is the bms system okay so let me go ahead and grab it and show you what i got again i'll put a link in the description below for where i bought this on amazon but it's the dally bms uh, this is a 16 series 48 volt 200 amp which means it's good for 200 amps of discharge and 100 amps of charging, which is more than enough for what I need. I did get the Bluetooth version, um, but basically this is the BMS. This is the lead wires. And so what we're gonna do right now is I need to take all these lead wires and I need to set them up with some ring terminals to go over the terminals of the batteries. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done. So I got the BMS all uh, wired up with those um, ring terminals on the end so that that's ready to go. Uh, next, I need to go ahead and take out my old batteries and then be starting to put in the new batteries. So I brought out one 48 volt set right here. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn off my solar charge controllers. I'm gonna turn off my quattros and then I'm going to disconnect the batteries and start to pull them out. It's gonna be really difficult to record because it's dark in there and there's a lot of stuff in the way, but that's all I'm doing is just taking out the old batteries and then I'm gonna be putting in the new ones. I finally got, got all eight of the old big batteries out. You can see behind my head back there. Um, that's the empty storage compartment and now we're gonna go ahead and start to get the cells in there. I know it looks like a mess, but I have a lot of the wires zip tied and whatnot, but the cells are all in there. Uh, I am still going to go ahead and do some type of securing along the front here and the side to make sure that, that all of these stay nice and tight. That whole thing was probably hands down the hardest thing I've had to do on this RV so far. I mean, look at my arm. My forearm just got ripped to shreds uh, getting those batteries out and the new ones back in. Uh, it, you know, I, I, did, I did the batteries initially on the... One of, the, one of the very first things I had done in here was put the batteries in there before I put in the Quattros, before I put in all the other equipment because of the space that I'm working with. So having to take those batteries out after I have everything in place, I have the duct work in the way, I have you know the water softener in the way, I have just all sorts of stuff that was very, very difficult to get around. I recommend that if you ever wanna do this type of thing, take the time to undo anything and everything possible i took a lot of the plumbing out because i just wanted a free space to work as much as i could and even so it was still very very tight for me but uh the cells are all online i got the bms working got those plugged in and uh we're gonna get some settings updated with the quattros and the charge profiles of all that stuff because i want these things to last a very very long time because of how big they are i don't need to push the limits uh, on them. So I'm not going to aim for two to 3000 cycles. I'm going to aim for 
five to 6,000 cycles out of them. And I'm gonna do that by keeping my voltages low. Uh, I'm setting my absorption for 56.4 um, and then float to 54.4, whereas some people go all the way to 58 volts for their absorption. And uh, it, you know, you can get more capacity out of them. You can get a little bit more juice out of them, but with how big this battery bank is now, 36 kilowatt hours versus the previous stuff that I was using, I was only getting about 12 kilowatt hours out of them. I mean, it's triple. That is triple the amount of usable energy that I have available to me. So I'm going to report back uh, here in a little bit uh, after a few days of use and show you guys some real time um, charts. So I had a couple days with basically no sun and I used a total of 603.8 amp hours. Um, now I had this set at 5% to go ahead and pull from shore power. So that's that was down to 5% remaining was 603 amp hours. So again, I should have 620 total if I drew down to zero, which I easily would have gotten. And keep in mind that I don't have these batteries charging to the full voltage that you can charge them up to. Um, I have it set a little bit lower so that I can hopefully get five to 6,000 cycles out of these and they will last me a very long time, like literally 10 years or longer. Um, and uh, so due to that, you know, you might not get your full full discharge, but I got 603 amp hours. So, you know, too, I'm just call it, call it 600. 600 amp hours at 48 volts. So, and that was two days of basically no sun to essentially completely drain the system. And then it started to pull from shore power and recharge. But I'm very, very happy with that. That's it for this week's episode. I hope you guys uh, learned something. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments below. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Why Not RV. Bye.